Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Capricorn reading for the first half of September, 1st through 15th. Um, this is just going to be a flower therapy deck for guidance, tarot to look into your situation, a deck for clarifying if I need it, um, romance angels to look into your romance life, and then the hidden truth oracle so we could get messages from whoever it is that you're dealing with Capricorn, okay? And of course, this may or may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and then leave the rest out. Also for free to swap around the energies as well, okay guys? So I'm going to do two more shuffles for Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. One last shuffle for Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. Okay, Capricorn. So we have open your arms to receiving. So, I mean, you've prayed for help. You just need to be open to accepting it. And uh, make sure you protect yourself um, from people that just drain you. And it may be dealing with your family, family harmony. Um, you know, maybe dealing with your family. You know, they're trying to dictate how you should be, how you should live your life, etc. Capricorn. Yeah, you see the balanced friendships. You need to work on detoxing your friendships. The people that don't really do anything for you. The people that just hold you back, Capricorn. You also need to work on peer pressure. You see, you listen to other people, Capricorn. Purification. You know, um, by purifying your life of negative people, places, and experience, you attain true peace. Exactly, Capricorn. Um, you are lovable. Don't hold yourself accountable accountable for your past mistakes. You didn't know better. Okay? Laughter. Lift, uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. Okay? Capricorn, let's look at your situation and your love life, Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. Capricorn. Two more shuffles for Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. One last shuffle for Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. Okay, Capricorn, so you could be in the public eye. You could be getting recognized for your success and your stability. Uh, possibly you're embarking on a new journey in your life. Um, you could be pregnant, the Empress card. Uh, you could be, you know, have gotten somebody pregnant, right? Take it how it resonates. Um, let's see, Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. Or in general, dealing with the baby mama type of drama type thing. Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. Yeah, you see on the Cancer card here, the Cancer card means balance. It means moving forward in your life. The Chariot card means moving. So, this landed on peer pressure. Okay, do not let people hold you back from where you're supposed to be in your life. And over here, the Empress card upside down. This is somebody who's a um, very, very materialistic aspect on life. You know, uh, material things, you know, cars, money, drugs, um, good time type of deal. And now, maybe that was you in the past, and now you're only accepting happiness. And with the Queen of Swords, you know, you're cutting out the bullshit. You could be dealing with somebody who's very in and out of your life, very fickle, does the bare minimum. They breadcrumb you, you know, you deserve more and they give you the bare, they give you the, you know, they give you very little Capricorn. So let's take a look. Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. Yeah, the High Priestess. And maybe this is something that um, you started to awaken your intuition. Feel free to stop around the energies, guys. You started to awaken your intuition and um, you started to realize you were de you were dancing with the devil, Capricorn. Uh, the devil, though, is a Capricorn card. So, I mean, that could just be you standing in your power, right? Uh, you started to awaken to your intuition and you started to realize who you were as a person. You know, you started to recognize your worth, Capricorn. The Emperor and Temperance. Exactly. So, you know, you're having patience with somebody who may be very kind of domineering, kind of a bully, kind of bossy. It may be your boss in general um, as well. You know, you're trying to you're trying to be patient with this person. You know, you might have blocked this person um, after you guys broke up. This could have been some sort of divorce. The higher fan can stand for a marriage. So 
you know, some of you guys may have blocked this person because it's sideways. Or some of you guys learned your lessons and now want to communicate because of the breakup. Let's see. Yeah, wanting to just go for it. Realizing the error in your ways and wanting to jump into a relationship. Something serious. The Emperor and Empress, right? So, I'm going to do um, two more shuffles for Capricorn. September 1st to 15th, Capricorn. What are the messages for Capricorn? Yeah, so it has a lot to do with you working on yourself. You noticing your worth, Capricorn. And that could be where you're at in life in general on your journey. You're, you're, yeah, you see, you're, you're being patient, you're planning, you're strategizing, but you're stressed out. And it could be in regards to um, a baby daddy, you know, uh, you could be a father, you know, take it how it resonates. And, you know, you're stressed out, you've been working on yourself, you've been planning for better. And, you know, you're kind of um, overwhelmed by the situation, it's keeping you up at night. So, what's the most likely outcome for Capricorn? September 1st to the 15th. Justice, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Finally, somebody notices your worth, King of Pentacles, and is willing to provide and invest in you, Capricorn. Yeah. Nine of Cups. You get what you want, Capricorn. And it had a lot to do with, um, you know, you, you lost hope. You, you were losing hope. You lost hope in this connection. This was arguments with the lover, incompatible lovers. And so... Uh, you know, that's that's where you were at with this connection. Yeah, you felt like it was, um, you just lost hope. After the breakup, it, it caused so much pain for you. But it's like that you needed that heartbreak to wake you up. You know, you needed that pain to, to make you be more optimistic about life, Capricorn. So let's get into the Romance Angels. Capricorn, September 1st through the 15th. You see new love, religious factors. So you may be dealing with somebody new and, and they're just different. Capricorn, September 1st through the 15th. Or in general, you know, you guys are embarking a new thing, in, a new phase in you all's relationship, Capricorn. Can you do two more shuffles? September 1st through the 15th. Yeah, I see I have soulmate. Release your ex. I'm seeing all these cards. Codependency. Release your ex. See, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I was hoping the devil was you, Capricorn, but that could be a possibility. You know, there's uh, sexual addictions in here. Um, there could also be, um, with that with that bare minimum, that player card, That's that to me is someone who has issues with committing. So that could be you or the other person, Capricorn, and um, worth waiting for. Yeah, divine timing is at work here. And w because you needed that pain. You see separation, you know, you guys needed that pain to... So you guys could boss up on your, your life, Capricorn. Let's see. September 1st to the 15th, Capricorn. Release your ex, Capricorn. It's time to clear your energy. You deserve love. And maybe once you've um, healed from the heartbreak with the way the cards were, and you realize now why you needed that pain, Communication will come in. That's also how, what the cards were saying, okay? And codependency, you know, addictions. Maybe that's something you needed to learn. You needed to learn how to not be so codependent. Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. Can I get two more cards? And then I'm going to move on to the next deck. Make them fly out of the deck, please, Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. Capricorn, make it fly out of the deck, please. Yeah, Capricorn, stay optimistic about your love life. So release your ex, stay optimistic about your love life, and addictions are affecting your, your romantic life. Um, let's see. Capricorn, September 1st to the 15th. One last shuffle for Capricorn. We both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, like I said, they have issues with um, committing Capricorn. But it's not saying it's not going to come back. It's just saying you need to heal. You were the best thing in my life. I know that I crossed the line with you, Capricorn. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, that's the energy I was getting. They knew what they were doing. 
Capricorn. September 1st to the 15th. Capricorn. I left you before you could leave me. I hope that you could forgive me one day, Capricorn. I love you unconditionally. Just being near you is intoxicating. So Capricorn, this could be a, a divine counterpart. You're dealing with a twin flame type of situation, Capricorn. Um, but like what it looks like here is that, um, you know, you met this person and they weren't ready or you. So, you know, it's like they played you thinking you were going to play them. You know, maybe they didn't think you were going to commit. So they did what they did to you. And well, like, no, it, it just bit them in the ass pretty much Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off there. If that helped you guys out, you're more than welcome to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys? Bye.